Hello, uh, Scott again from EdgeMath, uh, hope all is well today. Uh, got a question about tests and accuracy rates and false positives and so on. So a, a test for HIV has a 90% rate of correct positives and so, so if a person has HIV, the probability is 98% that it tests positive. And then 98 96 percent of correct negatives so, so if a person does not have HIV it will return negative 96 uh, percent of the time or positive four percent of the time so let's see if a person so we want to fill a probability chart attached and so and so for here we can assume there are we can just pick any number of people maybe assume there are 1,000 people Just as a, a number to con or a concrete number to use. So, and then assume that one percent. We need information about how many people do have HIV. So, assume that one percent of people are HIV plus. So that's ten people. 10% or 1% of 1,000 is 10, so so there are 10 people with HIV and the probability that they test positive is 98%. So that's 9.8 of them on average will test positive and then 0.2 will test negative of those with HIV. And then there's 990 without HIV and it says the probability that the person tests negative if they do not have HIV that is 96% so we can pop that in the calculator uh, 0 0.96 times, 0 0.96 times 990 that gives, pop it in the calculator, that's 950.4, and that's the people that do not have HIV and test negative, so we've got to make sure we've got it in the right place, and then the rest of the 990, so that's what, 39.6, test positive, so that's, that's going to be the false positive. Either they do not have HIV, but they test positive. Uh, this is correct, negative, and 50.4, because they don't have HIV, and they test negative. Um, if they do have HIV, and they test positive, that's a true positive, or correct positive. And then if they have HIV, but they test negative, that's a false negative. So that's, if we convert that to probabilities, that's, this is 950.4 out of 1,000, so that's 95.04%, and then 0 0.0 or 3.96%, so and so on. And that's 0.202%. I believe I did the math right there. Uh, 0.2 over 1000 equals 0 0.002 equals 0.2%. So that's right. And then 0. I believe I did the math right on those. Um, so, and given that a given that a person tests positive, uh, oh, realized. Oh, let's see. This one here is. This should be. That should be 0.02 percent. 
And then, so given that a person tests positive, what is the probability that they actually do have the disease? So we need to look at the people that test positive. So out of all those people who test positive. So that's out of the total of people who test positive is, well, out of the 1,000, 9.8 plus 39.6. So out of all those people who test positive, either correct positive or false positive, uh, how many, or what is the probability they actually do have the disease? So how many of those do have the disease? 9.8. And again, we can pop that in the calculator to simplify, and we get, uh, we get, Point nine one or point one nine eight three, or converted to a percent, we multiply by hundred, so nineteen point eight three percent. So out of all of those who actually do test positive, nineteen point eight three percent, or nine point eight out of the total, actually do have the disease. So that's just under twenty percent. So it's actually quite. So actually, if someone tests positive, it's most likely actually they do not have the disease based on these numbers. So it's a bit counterintuitive. But great. So hope that makes sense. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.